Welcome to this Windows Server Basics video. My name is Oren Thomas. I've been writing Windows Server textbooks for more than 20 years, and I work at Microsoft on a variety of things related to Windows Server and hybrid cloud. In this video, we're going to talk about creating a new website hosted in an existing Windows Server instance running IIS that will be differentiated from the default website by having a different fully qualified domain name. IIS can host multiple sites for the same fully qualified domain name or IP address if each site is configured with a different port. But it's far more common to have each site differentiated based upon having a unique fully qualified domain name with clients requesting each unique site using the host header request. The only practical limit on the number of websites an IIS server can host is the server's ability to respond to the volume of traffic. The first thing we do when creating a new website is open up the DNS server console and create a new host record for our website. In this case, we create a host record in the Tailwind Traders dot internal forward lookup zone called prime dot tailwind traders dot internal. We configure the host record to resolve to the IP address 10.10.10.51, which is the IP address of our IIS server. To verify that it all works, we run a quick NS lookup from the command prompt and verify that DNS resolution works. The next thing we do is create a folder on the local volume named Prime website. If this was a production system, I'd be inclined to put this on a completely separate volume, but this is a lab environment, and the only irresponsible guideline we follow is the rule of Kawabunga, which is the idea that whatever we deploy, it will be someone else's problem to fix. Now that we have the fully qualified domain name and the folder that we want to host the website, we can create an additional site in the IIS Manager console. To do this, we right click on the Sites node, choose Add Website. On the Add Website dialog box, we provide the site name of Prime, set the physical path to see colon backslash prime dash website, and set the host name to prime.tailwindtraders.internal. Now that I have created the website, I go back and do what I should have done earlier, which is put some website files in the website folder. Here, I'm going to copy the contents of the default website folder across to the prime-website folder to make sure that you can differentiate between the two. I'm going to edit the PNG file using MS Paint. As an embarrassing aside, the first website I created in 1993 used a bitmap image I created in Paint. Not exactly a great move for Mosaic over a slip connection on a 14.4 kbps modem, but at least there is a 30-year history of Orin making terrible web design choices. I restart the website using the IIS console and choose Browse on port 80. This brings up the website with Prime written on it in large letters. And that's the basics on how you create a new website on IIS on Windows Server.